Gentlemen, Randy here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Autumn Oaks, and we're currently working on uh, chopping corn here. At least uh, course play has also got uh, course play working on baling up our grass field here as well. Decided to just uh, go ahead and make grass bales out of it, seeing as how I'd already raked it. Uh, technically, I probably should have tetted it and then raked it, but uh, I didn't quite get that in the right order, so yeah, oh well. Close enough. Uh, anyway. The, uh, the chopper here, the tow behind chopper is full. Course play was nice enough to uh, stop here for us, so that's, uh, that's nice to see. Uh, so yeah, went down to the shop there, picked up another forage box, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get that one uh, hooked up here, hopefully. And we'll disconnect that, and maybe we'll just turn this off here a minute, just so it doesn't uh, chop any corn while we're getting the other box attached. And then hopefully as well we can get uh, course play line back up on the right uh, line here. Because again, uh, per course play, the header on this is 1.5 meters. For those who remember what the course play course looked like, yes, quite uh, quite the course play course. Which reminds me, I never did save it, did I? Okay, let's uh, do that here. This is uh, field one, 1.5 meter chop. Sure. This is probably going to take a moment to save here. So yes, we're going to get him running again. Like I said, hopefully get him picked up in the right spot. And we'll uh, take that box back and unload it. And uh, we'll be working on that this episode as well. Some other stuff here, hopefully. Once this is done saving. Uh, namely, I want to go uh, start uh, cultivating. Most of our fields are harvested here at this point. So see if we can get them uh, prepped and ready to go for the next harvest. Yeah, like I said, close together there. Okay, we're, whoa, whoa. hang out of the mouse there. Let's see what's here. Uh, I'm going to guess he was on probably that one. So, okay, let's just drive course, see what's what happens. Actually, you know what? If I do current, I should make him pick up where he left off, I think. Yeah, he's working. We'll, uh, we'll call that good enough. And like I said, we'll take this one back here. And that, of course, is uh, where we left off with the uh, self-propelled uh, chopper, by the way. Might still uh, come back with that here at some point. Uh, at this point, I just wanted to uh, test and see if the uh, tow-behind chopper would work or not. Because, again, we did have some problems with course playing the self-propelled chopper there. That wasn't exactly working, I guess you could say. Probably the best way of putting that. Uh, picked up a new tractor as well. Got an International 1586. And... Uh, as I mentioned, hopefully we're going to be doing some uh, cultivating with this track here in a moment. Oh, someone left their GMC parked on the uh, loading spot here. Okay. Yeah, we'll just leave that there. Good enough, I guess. At least these uh, boxes don't take uh, too long to unload uh, in the game here. Uh, yeah, for anyone that's ever unloaded these in real life, yeah, they, uh, they're they not exactly the quickest set unloading. But then again, typically a lot of times, too, uh, well, I guess it depends on what you're unloading into. Uh, a lot of times you see them used with the bags and stuff, and that's a little bit slower process there as well, probably. Or you that uh, blowing it up into a silo as well. That's, uh, of course, the other uh, option. Can't say I really ever see these being, uh, this type anyway, being dumped into, like, an open pit. I don't think that's usually done that I know of. At least, like I said, not, not with this uh, type of trailer anyway. Not that I've seen. Okay, let's unload that. Uh, like I said, we'll just uh, leave that there. Uh, it did take him quite a while to uh, fill up again. I have chopped quite a bit of this field here with a hired worker and the self-propelled. So that's why most of the field is done. 
Okay, so uh, I was kind of looking at the shop there. Everyone see what's what cultivator I wanted to try. Uh, we do have a couple other uh, cultivators in the uh, shop here. But then, you know, I realized uh, we have modded up this uh, Will Rich here quite a bit. So why don't we uh, give it a try? It's, you know, not exactly new, but uh, it has had quite a bit of changes made to it. So I mind giving it a try here. We'll just see what's how it works. If there's anything uh, majorly wrong with it. Tractor seems to handle it uh, pretty good. Yeah, not sliding around at all. Good. Oh, yeah, that does remind me. That's the one thing I do need to maybe see if I can fix. Yeah, these tires aren't exactly right. Uh, I don't know if that's the best way of putting it, <laughs> but... They could use a little help yet. Uh, I did switch him to uh, the rubber, but uh, the uh, texture here is actually what was leaving the, the ribs on him. So I switched him to rubber and it left the texture on it, everyone. So I, yeah, it's probably not the best way to do it, but... Because, uh, yeah, what happened, everyone, is I imported these into Blender... Uh, converted the uh, tires over to rubber texture in the UVs and then uh, brought them back and like, whoa, oh, they are a smooth tire. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's not going to work the greatest or not going to look the greatest. Uh, it worked just fine, I guess, but. So then I left the uh, texture on it as well, so that at least gave it a little bit uh, better definition than it had, I guess. Like I said, definitely not quite the right way to do it. Uh, and again, by the way, the shanks are not missing a texture, everyone. That is the way they were. Uh, so I just, uh, that's the way I left them. So yes, they are actually supposed to be white like that, I guess. Uh, I kind of actually looked online at some uh, pictures of the, of the real cultivators, and it looks like white. Uh, I've seen some white, and looks like some are black, everyone. So I, I guess it goes either way from what I can tell. But, uh, again, the, the original mod was white, so that's I just made them white then as well. Or They're not actually quite white. They're a little bit off-white. And then the uh, shovels, they were black, but I decided to make them uh, chrome. Uh, again, once you uh, pull this through the ground, everyone, it's going to shine them up real pretty-like. And, uh, yeah, they'll definitely be nice and shiny. So that's uh, what I decided to go with there. Uh, you could make them black there as well if you wanted to, I suppose. Painted black metal. Uh, you would have to change the UVs on it slightly, though, because, uh, again, it is set to chrome at the moment. Tractor sounds like it has a bit of a surge in the uh, sound file there. Oh, no, I just noticed, too, these tires are not going around center, are they? Hmm, Interesting. Just to think that, unless they're just bouncing around, that could be as well, maybe. No, yeah, I don't think they're quite centered. Because if you notice, they are protruding out the side as well. Uh, if they were just bouncing, they'd probably just go up and down, I would think. Not, uh, not side to side as well. And that's what happens if the uh, transform isn't uh, perfectly centered on the uh, center of the diameter of the uh, tire there. Just ask me how I know about that one, everyone. Oh, yes, just ask. Right. And I did, uh, oh, yeah, I guess you can see that. And I did put uh, GPS on this tractor as well, by the way, so it does have uh, GPS on it. Hey, we'll maybe make a headland here, too, and then uh, we'll see what's about uh, setting that up, see what's how long it takes us to get around the field here. Oh, there's a there's a square bale. Why is there a square bale on the field? That's odd. We'll just uh, take that. And, oh, drop it, of course. Uh, of, of course. Uh, wouldn't expect anything else. We'll just uh, drop it and chuck it into the trees there. Yeah, we'll... Uh, 
What bale? I, I didn't see no bale. You see? You folks see any bale? Nope. Oh, you don't see a bale either. Good. Nothing to see. That must be from the uh, first time we did this field here, then, everyone, because, uh, yes, yeah, so we were round baling the field last time, and I think I got all those bales picked up as far as I know. Uh, anyway, we'll uh, read a few uh, comments here in a moment. Uh, let's see what's here. Uh, Jim was saying, great video as always. Hey, thank you very much for that. And he uh, went on to say here, my goodness, that John Deere chopper looks like it came from outer space. Ah, yes, the uh, John Deere 7300 there. Oh, my, oh, my. Yes, that uh, that chopper. Wow. I, I don't know. I haven't taken the time to look at it, everyone. I'm not entirely sure if it's that. It's probably where, I'm guessing. Uh, that's why it's causing the paint to go off there. But again, it, it's not actually fully worn yet. It's only like, was it 17, 20%, something like that? It's not that high of a percentage, so seems a little odd. I uh, was saying certainly needs some uh, attention. I think the uh, mod author on that uh, Chevy grain truck made the uh, frame that narrow to accommodate those large, way oversized fuel tanks, uh, which are in reality way out of proportion for this uh, truck. Uh, the tank should be a little smaller in diameter and longer in length. Uh, he was also saying I never liked the textures on that grain bed either, and nor have I seen a grain bed look like uh, this in real life. Uh, those textures in the grain bed look too funky, if you ask me. If I were up to me, I would... Oh, how much we're going here, too. I'd make an entirely new grain bed for the poor uh, Chevy. Only I had the ability to do so. Hmm. I wonder how hard it would be to, uh, say, maybe borrow a grain bed off, oh, I don't know, say another truck that has a much, much better one. And like I said there, too, I, I've mentioned this before. I, I don't know what's up with the grain bed on that uh, Chevy one. I, I haven't taken the time to look into it real closely. I did pop it open. I'm pretty sure it was set to the right material type, if I remember correctly. Although maybe I'll have to double check that. Maybe I didn't have the right thing exported, but... And it almost looks like maybe it's set to the wrong material type and or... what? Well, I don't think there's a texture on it, everyone, because it is color selectable. So I, I, I'm not sure. Not sure. Like I said, it's going to require some more investigating, I think. Uh, Cali Games saying, well, you never know until you try. Well put. I I'm not sure what he's talking about trying, but uh, you're right. Never know until you try. Just like uh, seeing as if the uh, self, or not the self, well, the toe-behind chopper. If the toe-behind chopper will work with course play. And it does, by the way. Although, foraging chaff, 0%. I wonder if that 0% is just because... 4440 power shift, bailing. No, that's the bailer. 74%. Uh, that number hasn't been moving lately either, has it? 0%. Uh, I think that's probably the percentage on the chopper, maybe? Also, we should go check and see if something's wrong over here, because he should be more than... Zero uh, percent, I would think, at this point. Uh, we'll have to watch here as well, but once he uh, starts going up and down the field, he uh, starts on the larger end of the field here, so we need to get him over to this end here, which is where the uh, corn is left. So, yeah, once he's down to the headland, we do need to move his position on the course play course. Uh, let's see what's here. Magnus was saying, can't wait to see the mods on your list. And yes, I will try to uh, sleep. Great video as always. Uh, Magnus, of course, uh, tried to sleep. His comment here was because uh, he is getting a PC here, I believe, in the next... Um, was it today, maybe? Might have been today. I don't, yeah, I don't remember exactly. I know he said he was getting a PC here, everyone. So uh, he is, uh, shall we say, going to be, or currently now is, a former console player, I do believe. So... And I, of course, uh, told him there, uh, when you get that PC, make sure you still remember to, you, you do have to sleep every now and then once in a while, you know? At, le you know, at least every couple of days, right, everyone? Uh, 
Uh, let's see what's here. Uh, 13 Dixie Fried was saying that uh, cat truck can uh, be quickly become a lizard. Uh, yes, a, a lizard truck, and then you can import it on the console. Uh, well, you, you folks would probably have to talk to the uh, the mod author about that, see once if he'd be willing to make that into a lizard truck. Um, don't see why it wouldn't work on the console then at that point. Uh, even the auto loader for the bales there again, everyone, because uh, Nolan is using uh, the in game auto load function, although it's not really auto load necessarily. Uh, it's just the in game bale pickup mechanic for the in game trailers that will load bales, the, the auto stack wagons. Uh, it's just a, a little more, how shall we say, magical in the way it works on that truck. Uh, why I was saying Tired Bog had some uh, problems with that chopper as well. Love your videos. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much for that. Ah, good to know. So I'm not the only one having problems with that chopper. Uh, Ed was saying seems the uh, chopper has combine XML instead of chopper XML. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, that I, I have not looked at it all, everyone, so I do not know that <laughs> that could very well be. That would, uh, that would definitely explain the problems with it um yeah oh my goodness if that's seriously the problem everyone i mean what what uh what do you even say to the person that made that mod i mean uh, yeah how, how do you screw something that simple up at least i'm assuming it's simple i haven't looked at it yet but uh, uh if it's just a simple vehicle type switch uh, you know it's, it's set as a combine instead of a chopper that would uh that would definitely be a potential problem there uh outdoor farmer was saying you should use follow me for chopping silage uh works a charm oh that is a good point i uh, forgot we had that mod yes we do have the uh, follow me mod Okay, let's see what's here. Uh, Nolan was saying, please read the entire email on instructions for the uh, cat truck. Well, okay, in, in all fairness here, Nolan, I did read the entire instructions. Just, uh, you expect me to remember all them instructions? Oh, my. Uh, anyway, uh, Nolan was saying, uh, Nolan, for those who don't know, by the way, is the uh, mod author for the uh, cat trucks. Uh, again, don't think he's released them publicly. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. They might be up on the uh, Buster's Facebook page now. But, uh, again, if you do want those... Check out the uh, Buster's Facebook page there. Uh, at the very least, I know the uh, cat grain truck is currently up. Uh, anyway, he was saying uh, the unload is to the right and back only. Uh, it will lower to the ground as well. The reason I stopped the movement is... Uh, uh, stop the movement to the front and left is to make it easy to put the unloading location back on the bed. Just move it to the left and all the way up front. And it's in its home position. Ah, that actually makes sense, yes. Otherwise, if you move it left and right, to, yeah, to get it back to center there, uh, it'll be a little bit trickier. Or the, whereas with this, you can just slide it all the way over. Boom. Makes sense. Uh, you was saying this is important because when the truck fills to 100%, it automatically goes to the unload position. Uh, so if you leave the rails out where you unload it... Uh, let's see. I've got to click read more here a minute. Uh, when the truck fills up to 100%, the load will jump to where you left the rails. Also, no self-writing script. <laughs> it's just pretty much always self-writes. Ah, good. Well, perfect there, Nolan. Uh, if, if you see my driving, that is definitely a much, uh, much needed feature there. Uh, again, for those who didn't see that episode, actually, no, that was two episodes ago now, wasn't it? Yeah, that's where we kind of sort of might have flipped that uh, cat truck slightly. Uh, we hit a pretty good bump there going down that uh, one uh, road there that needs some uh, leveling on it. And, uh, yeah, wow. I was a bit surprised by that one.
Uh, let's see what's here. Uh, Tyler was saying the reason for the fold on the low loader is after you fold it, disconnect it, then reconnect it under the uh, shorter. Yeah, stuff need to get GPS set up here. One more headline should be good. Uh, disconnected under the uh, shorter part makes the uh, trailer shorter for tighter areas and helps to adjust the load position on the truck. Ah, okay. Did not know that. So yes, once you uh, disconnect it, or actually you'd want to fold it first. Uh, at least that's the way it works in the game here because you you have to be attached to it to be able to operate it. So then you can uh, fold it, disconnect, and then I'm assuming pull it in a little bit closer and reconnect. Interesting. Oh boy, Antonio is saying, uh, can you help me please? Uh, I'd like a John Deere 5020 mod. I cannot create the textures. Oh boy, I, I might be the wrong person to ask about modding, but uh, I wouldn't mind seeing a John Deere 5020 in the game. Might have to look into it. Uh, and at least uh, for creating uh, textures here, you don't necessarily have to create textures. I mean, you're probably going to want textures for, like, the logos and stuff. But at least as far as, like, just the uh, John Deere green goes, you don't really need a texture for that. You can just uh, apply John Deere green to the model. And you can do that right from within the uh, Giants editor there for that one. Uh, Brandon was saying, workshop tab are not included in Giants. Equals Giants logic. I know, right? Uh... I complained about that back in Farming Simulator 17, or maybe even 15. I, I don't know. For as long as I've been repairing vehicles, I've complained about this, everyone. When you go to repair your equipment, let's just say you got something as silly as a weight on the front of your tractor. You go, or actually not repair it, customize it, right? I, I even repair, I guess, now too. But you go to a customize your tractor, everyone. And, of course, what's it pick up on? It picks up on the weight. It's like, no, I don't want to customize the bloody weight. I want to customize my tractor at the shop. Then, of course, you have to go, you know, pull the tractor back out of the shop, leave the weight outside somewhere, pull it back in the shop, and now you can access the tractor. Or let's say maybe you do want to customize your weight. So you pull into the uh, pull into the repair shop there, and, of course, it's what it pops up the tractor. Like, really? Uh, Nick was saying, nice video. That chopper looks hilarious. Oh, I know, doesn't it? It just looks terrible. <laughs> terrible. Uh uh, oh, the uh, 1466 needs to be unloaded. Let's take care of that here a moment. I, I don't know what's up with mod authors and doing that. Uh, it didn't take me very long, everyone, to find a nice generic, or at least I think it's pretty nice. I mean, it's better than nothing. Uh, it's what I've been applying to all the mods so far that I've done with the dirt and the wear. Just a generic wear, wear and dirt texture. Yeah, it may not be as good as, say, uh... Oh, the, like the STS Combines, everyone, where it actually has a customized, uh, you know, wear and dirt texture on it. But it's better than just turning completely silver and completely brown, if you ask me. Uh, the, I'm not sure how much the Oliver's dirty, if that's 100% or not. But uh, it it's, doesn't get much worse than that, I don't think. Okay, let's grab this other uh, trailer here a minute. And let's see once there. Where was he at? Oh, not seeing him. Must be... Uh, oh, there he is. There he is. I can see the chopper box sitting up above the uh, corn there. Okay, so we'll just, uh, like I said, do what we did here last time. Get that one uh, disconnected and uh, reconnect this one here. And let's see how far we can uh, back this one up here. It's just so it's out. Of, oh, wow, look at those. Are a lot of course plate lines there.
If we just go uh, straight back here, we can usually go a little ways before it starts to uh, turn. Okay, and uh, let's see once here. We'll just try to get him started on the current waypoint here again, see if that'll uh, do the trick. I'm not sure if he was on this line or this line. Eh, yeah, it seems to be working. Not missing anything. Good. We'll call that good then. Uh, let's see what's here. Uh, back to the comments again. Uh, this one from Scooter's Workbench. Oh, boy. Uh, Scooter's Workbench was saying those crazy mod authors and their aware. It's almost as crazy as someone who edits a mod, claims to have fixed it, uh, brags about how the log is clean, but the physics are still wrong, and the log is filled with errors. I mean, really? Who would do that? Uh, I, guess the, I guess those are the lazy modders you speak of all the time. Uh, he says, by the way, I left feedback about the Will Rich. Uh, it's still not fixed. And also the X30 series tractor. Physics uh, still off and collisions are not correct. Uh, yes, I'm actually aware the collisions on the 30 series are not correct. Uh, I do need to uh, look into that yet. Uh, the way it's currently set up, I'm not sure if that's actually uh, fixable or not. So, yes, uh, like I said, might have to look into that a little more yet. You know what, we can just uh, leave this here. Uh, as far as claiming that the uh, error messages there in your log from the John Deere 30 series, Will Rich or Oliver, I uh, don't believe that's possible. I don't think there's any error messages that I know of in the log file from any of these mods. Uh, the Will Rich, John Deere 30 series, and Oliver for that matter. Now, if you used them before I updated them, yes. Uh, the Oliver threw quite a few error messages. The John Deere 30 series, I'm not sure about that one. Don't remember if there's error messages in the log from that or not. Uh, Will Rich. Don't remember if there's error messages in the log for that one either. Let's see what's what the uh, wear and dirt looks like on this uh, cultivator here, by the way. Kind of curious to see. Uh, again, I applied the uh, generic wear and dirt to this as well. Uh, like I said, it's just a generic dirt wear uh, texture. And if you do a little looking online there, there's, uh, well, I, I just took the first one I found, everyone, so I, I don't know, maybe there's more to find, I'm not sure. Uh, it actually has a generic dirt and a generic a dirt and wear, so, uh, what was it? Oh, like the belts on the, uh, John Deere baler there, everyone, I should, like, see if I can just put, like, the generic dirt on that one, see if that would work or not. Uh, I'm not sure if it would or not, but, uh, yeah, put the generic dirt on it, that way the belts would get dirty. But they won't lose their paint because I mean, belts, they, they don't have any paint on them, right? Oh, let's see what's here. Phil was saying the, the blue grain box on the truck, on the old truck. I think the uh, fact that it looks more rounded on the edges. The shine of the color and the smooth texture all combined to make it look plasticky. Uh, it could very well be, Phil, that it is set as plastic. Because uh, uh, the way Farming Sailor works with mods now, you can set a material type. And uh, by material type, I mean like metal, plastic, uh, chrome. And uh, that will affect how the uh, color on the mod will look. Uh, for example, this uh, Wilrich here. Is all set as metal, as painted metal, except, let me raise this back up here. Uh, it's all set as painted metal, except for the shovels here. The shovels are set as chrome. At least they're supposed to be chrome, anyway. Doesn't actually look much different here. Uh, 
Oh, you know what? Actually, yeah, that's right. I actually got to look into this here, but why these do not. See, you can see the chrome on these. You cannot see the chrome on these. I'm not sure why. I've got to look into that yet. I forgot about that. And I think it's actually a light situation there, so I'm not sure if something the way... Yeah, and I'm not sure about it. Have to, like I said, I have to look into that. Because I think I did double check that. They are most definitely set as chrome. And I gotta double check and make sure the material type, maybe because sometimes uh, giants there. Uh, yeah, material types in the back and everyone. Oh boy, you gotta watch the material types. <laughs> Do you ever have to watch them? Uh, sometimes giants editor there, he, it'll, uh, hey, you want this material type? No, we'll give this one instead. Actually, there's no... Uh, I don't know. I have to actually ask Noel on that. I, I don't think there's actually a way to select material types in the editor that I know of, everyone. Maybe there is, but... Let's see what's here. Uh, snap train angle. Yes, that's good. Uh, oh, I got a course in here, don't I? Oh, okay. Something. Uh, North-South. Am I going North-South? I think I am, right? I am. Wait. I will load that. Mm, uh, let's try that again. Alt home. There we go. Now it's lined up. Is this 10 meters? Nah, not quite. Let's get going down the track here, then I'll update the width on it. Okay, now let's uh, go back to here. Auto with it. Uh, you know, technically what you can do here, everyone, is when you go to here, you can technically have like one course, just create, I don't know, 10 meter course. Create a 10 meter north-south, create a 10 meter east-west. Uh, and then you can continuously use those courses. All you have to do is just go to, you know, whatever width implement you're using, just hit the auto width. Assuming it's set up right, it should grab the proper width, and there you go. So technically with two courses. Now, of course, you can go ahead and create, you know, a separate course for each width of your implements. It's a little bit easier that way. You don't have to sit here, you know, getting the width right and all that good stuff. But just saying, it is possible. And anyway, everyone, looking at the time here, I see it is time to wrap up this episode. So on that note, if folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.